Today I wanted to show you guys how to make a automated sorting system with extra utilities. This side onto the left is well this side I like using this much more. Well, it's pretty much the only way to go actually. But as you can see here, there's just a whole bunch of junk in this chest. And the way that these work is they, if you don't make sure that they have to go in one straight line, then they're all gonna just, there's actually a little mess up here, but it should be fine for now. Um, it will go somewhere random and it will take much longer for it to find its route. So you want it to have a straight path, as in this here makes it to where that there's no intersection. So, so does this. That's the purpose, so it snakes around in one path. One straight path. And what what happens is is if you use a sort the sorting pipes from extra utilities, then the only thing that can go in that chest is something that already exists inside of the chest. So in this chest only grass blocks can go in there, but in this chest only sand blocks can go in there. As for this one, only sandstone and chiseled stand sandstone could go into there, but that also brings out new possibilities for like things like this chest is an adventured ender chest, which what you really want to do instead of using green stained clay is use something that you're never gonna put inside of this sorting system. So something to block it off to where you're not gonna get a bunch of spam in here and it's not gonna spam your system a bit but basically what this is gonna do is um fine. ender pouch pouch there you are so you can access this anywhere and as long as this is loaded you can access this and I'll show you by turning this system on and by that I mean I should probably now these what these do they help find they speed up which box they check to enter so if I do this then it checks much quicker and you can see that just kind of creates a lot of lag and these will all go into chests which their item is already in like only diamond and diamond blocks and diamond ore blocks will go in there and there is some in there so if I connect this, eventually we could see what's going on here is something is trying, all the wool that was in there, because there's all kinds of the wool that was in there, and it's just filling up each chest. As you can see with this, the portable scanner, everything that has a redstone sort of glow is the where items are trying to put themselves into and as you can see here they're all gone where they go and they went into each chest oh of course yeah I kind of messed that up what you really want to be doing here is have the miscellaneous chest on the very last ender and then yeah if you redistribute your pork chops, you, they go in there. And every time you pull some out, the system should see that that's empty. Or maybe I just need some more. It'll see that that's empty and it will refill it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's fine. You get the gist, right? Wait, what happened to all the wool? It's a bit odd. I don't know what happened there. It must have been a bug. I'll check it later. And My client's probably just not sinking or something. But what these pipes do is they... They're mod sorting pipes. So anything from, say, 
Tinker's Construct will be allowed in there. Not just wooden truffle heads. As you can see in the blue, ch blue, it says Tinker's Construct, so anything like this obsidian shard will go into there. But instead, this one, only extra utility stuff will go in this one. And which really is nice is these Forge Microbox. They, they really clutter up things and it's hard to sort them. But with these extra utility sorting pipes, it makes it very nice to sort them. So what you might want to do is just, or what you're going to want to do is connect those and eventually everything will get sorted where they should go. I'm going to accidentally didn't do that. And everything gets sorted but basically what you want to do is one of the major tips I could, get, could give you is just make sure at the very end very very end is you're, you're gonna want to have your oh, you know what that's the problem there is you're gonna want a your miscellaneous chest to have a normal transfer pipe and everything else have uh, sorting pipes or mod sorting pipes, whichever you want for your system. And make sure that there's no, unless you have it very specifically telling the system to go one way, and I'll show you how to do that. So say you have an intersection and you want something to go into another chest over here. All you need is a, some kind of, uh, wrench from a mod and I believe how this works is saying like right here I want it no oh yes 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 I think it's saying I want you to go down this path but I don't want you going down these paths I don't want you going down this path or this path I want you to go that path and I think this one's supposed to mean that it, I want you to go down this path, but not back or over there. And there's a lot of combination for that. And I will show you this in a actual survival world right now. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of chests in kind of a weird order, but it's not all complete. But using the extra utilities, it's quite easy to make a operating system like this. And as you see, all the things I threw in there should eventually either land in here or here. But at the very end of this system, very, very, very end, is this miscellaneous chest, which anything that I don't already have in the in a chest, it will eventually find its way into here. Since I don't have any basalt cobblestone from Red, Project Red, then I don't have anywhere to go, and I don't have any mod sorting pipes for Project Red, then it goes directly to there. And also, if you look here, I was. What you do is basically that wherever this is the gray point is pointing is the place you don't want it to go back to. It, what you're saying is you want it to go this way, not up. And I will show you if I can get out of here. Here, I might as well just do this. The snaking pattern really helps the system not be confused and it's a lot more efficient and sometimes it's the only way of doing it and as you see here where actually the start of the system is is here this is the very beginning of the pipes so they come in through here 
which is a micro block thing. Oh, I just broke the system. That's not good. They come in through there. They loop down, they loop down, they loop up, loop down, loop down, up, down. Until the very end over here. Then they go into the system like I started to do before. I hope that helps, and if I said anything that you don't understand, you can tell me in the comments. And have a good day. See you.